Hello, you wonderful, beautiful, and craptastic people. Craptastic Jack here. Today, we are on American Truck Simulator. And today, we are going to be American Trucking and Simming at the same time. And basically, yes, yeah, I really like this game. I have like 21 hours, I want to say, into the game as of right now. And overall, it's just a really fun and relaxing game to play. So yes, without further interruptions, let us begin. So basically right now what we are doing is we are actually hauling dynamite from uh, this weird ass town in the desert to another weird ass town in the desert. And basically we have um, 633 miles to go. So yes, that's fun. Um, we're actually just going to go around these S curves here for a bit and then we're going to hit the freeway and that should be, that should take up a bit more time. Actually, I might actually want to stop for gas right before. Like, I'm. This is act. Even though I have my own trunking company and shit, I probably want to stop for gas um, along the way because you don't start with that much gas. You just start with like maybe half a tank. So before we hit the freeway, I want to stop and get some gas quick. Wait, I I just realized something. Diesel on the sign is 281, but in the but on my screen here it says 282. This game is shit. Beep 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 beep. Oh, uh, there's actually a horn in this game. Oh, that's not the horn. Uh, yeah, get out of my way, bitch. Cruise control is now on. Now, basically, this is most of what American Truck Simulator is. You're just cruising along the highway in a big-ass truck. Oh, shit. Shit, I accidentally turned off my engine. Shit. All right, so basically, just put this in cruise control. This is what mostly what American Truck Simulator is. Um, You're just driving around. Oh, shit, I got to merge. Um, basically, you're just driving around on these roads and just like obeying traffic laws and shit and like hauling goods and shit like dynamite that can be used for cool purposes like exploding shit. So, like, getting that shit from one place to another is just so relaxing. Except when, you know, you're at a red light. And AI crashes into you, and you get the penalty for it. All right, we better slow down for the exit because you know we don't want to crash and shit. And oh shit, we're gonna crash. Okay, thank God we didn't. We got this freaking Mercedes ass freaking Volkswagen stupid shit. Like what's it called? Station wagon. Like, like, like over here. Like, bro, I don't even think that's a real car. Oh shit, white corner, white corner. We need, we shouldn't do that. Uh, it's not only in this game where I do those stupid ass, like, wide curves, like, ah, I gotta make a turn. Oops! Like, I, I don't, I do that. I mean, I'm learning, I'm in the process of learning to drive right now. I have my permit. And it seems that almost every single um, turn that I make is wide enough to the point where it could cause an accident. I mean, I'll be turning onto a different street, there's like traffic, and I've, I've had to back up already in the middle of an intersection. That was quite embarrassing. Um, but yeah, that I really need to learn how to make quick, like I always feel like I'm gonna hit the curb and shit, like I hit that Mustang, but in reality is I won't, and shit, this isn't a good idea. Not like right here, but like in reality, I'm not gonna hit anything. Oh shit, well, that wasn't good. And we didn't use our turn signals. Also, one thing, when I'm, when I'm driving, I, it's a bit of an OCD, but it's a good OCD because I, it's just using my turn signals for every single turn, even it, every time I turn, even if it isn't necessary, like I'll use my turn signal. Like going on a road that makes a quick 90 degree turn, but there's no other intersect roads intersecting, I'll still use my turn signal. Like, like I don't even need to use it in that situation, but still, I still use it. It's just an OCD of mine. I mean, I guess it's good because I, it means I won't forget to use my turn signal, but, you know, it's still not that good. Game keeps freezing, probably because of shadow play, but oh shit. Oh shit! Not good, not good, not good, not good! Well, shit. Alright, back up, boys. Watch out, I'm coming back down. Took that corner, we're going way too fast. Don't, don't hit the light, you sack of shit, I told you not to hit the light posts. Okay, okay, I think we're in a good position here. Is El Dorito better slow the shit down? Oh my god. Freaking. Okay, let's go, let's go. Gotta make it before this stupid ass red and white truck comes. There we go. There we go. No accident to see here. So if you are not in the loop of how 
the D the DLC mapping process of this game is gonna work it at work out. Uh, let me give you some more information. Uh, basically, um, in this game, there's an American Truck Simulator. There's only two states right now. Think of the states compared to the, sta the states of this game as the countries of um, Euro Truck Simulator. I mean, they're not very similar, but y you know, just just for sake of these two games. Um, basically, there's only two states right now, California and Nevada, which could be the size of plenty of different... They're basically the size of a bunch of different countries in Euro Truck Simulator, but basically what they're going to be doing is they're going to be releasing different states and different regions as separate DLC. Some you're going to have to pay for, some you are going to be for free. I mean, for example, the Arizona DLC is going to be coming within a month or two, hopefully, and uh, that's actually coming for free right now. And then we're going to have Utah, hopefully the rest of the West Coast, Washington, Oregon. And then, after maybe a year or two, maybe even two years, no one knows, um, you're going to end up in East Coast, hopefully. Hopefully it gets that far, and hopefully we get all the way to, you know, Allentown, Philadelphia, Baltimore, New York, like the East Coast, the South, like the New England regions. Hopefully we get there. Um, and it, it's gonna take some time, but eventually we'll get there. Don't worry. But right now, there's only California and Nevada. This game's only a few months old. Came out last month, actually, and it's gonna be two months old. So really, don't want to rush to developers, but it is gonna take some time to get some of the states and shit out, regions out. And this game actually can become a bit tedious, a bit just going up in ca California and shit. But it's get, we're, it's gonna make um, Arizona just itself a whole lot more like awesome. It's gonna feel like an entirely new part. It's not they're trying to make the states feel all like different and shit, and like keep them all special. So, example, when the Iowa DLC comes out, no one's gonna be like giving a shit like oh, just Iowa, no one gives a shit. People are gonna like oh yeah, Iowa, more shit to drive in. So hopefully that's what they're going for, and hopefully it works out. My guy's actually getting a bit tired, and we're actually approaching the Nevada state line right now. So I'm gonna stop in to this um, little rest, rest stop here, and fall asleep for the night. As we approach nighttime, I, we're gonna be, hopefully, just take a nap here because if you drive and while tired guy actually falls asleep I'm pretty sure I haven't driven too much while tired I usually try and find a rest stop quick so shit not good oh shit come on come on come on we should have enough room actually screw it I'm just gonna go across the street and freaking do there is a lot more room all right now we need to figure out how to do a J turn here or 180 degree turn and turn around and cross this major freeway interstate which for some reason has an intersection like this and when interstates aren't supposed to have intersections like this come on come on come on uh no all right these guys are gonna have to stop for me no traffic coming this way no traffic coming that way good let's go all right in we go uh just cut through the shit here and then we can go to the rest stop here and then sleep and then awake and then head down to wherever the hell we're supposed to go ah shit we actually have to line up our trucks this is gonna be fun all right uh here i found a perfect parking spot and shit i keep overturning this shit all right and uh hopefully these trucks won't be here when we awake hopefully they'll be long gone Good morning, and shit, they're still there. What fucking assholes. Oh, shit, white cornering, that's not good. And through the cattle chute, let's do this. Uh, like, you can't, uh, that made no sense, but whatever. Um, also, I want to address the need for PC for Jim Need for Speed. Yes, I do know that it came out, and, um, yes, uh, I do have it. And, yes, I am following through the map. And for some reason, Shadowplay likes to shit itself only when I'm recording Need for Speed. And it likes to basically just stutter and freeze every 10 seconds. And until I get that sorted out, I can't really record on PC when I really, really want to. But it's a shame that I can't. Until NVIDIA fixes their shit, because it it's, it's NVIDIA, it's a driver problem, I'm pretty sure. 
until NVIDIA fixes their shit, I won't be able to. And that's actually kind of sad, because I really want to. And shit, it's starting to rain. And, and, like, even the gods agree that it's really sad, because they're starting to cry. And, yeah, now it's raining. So, thank you, NVIDIA. You just made everyone sad, and now it's starting to rain. And you made the gods sad, so now it's starting to rain. So, thank you, NVIDIA. Piece of shit. Now, one of the problems that um, the engine that you... That Euro Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator are used to run is that when it rains and shit like that and when you're in the city you just get dropped down to 25 frames per second and it's not like my PC can't run this. I have a GTX 970 and an i5 quad core processor so I should be able to run this on maximum 60 frames per second 1080p but I'm getting 30 frames per second in like 28 frames per second in the city here and in the rain, which really shouldn't be happening. Regardless, I should be getting 60 frames per second. It just shows that this engine is not really the best when it comes to this kind of thing. All right, I want to see what happens when you turn off the windshield wipers. Like, what happens to your windscreen? Like, I just want to see what happens because I think it just gets clustered with rain or something, but I can still see fine. So, I don't know what's going on, but... Okay, I guess it just stopped raining. I wanted to see. That would have been a cool little test to see what would happen, but I guess the rain just decided to stop, so... I guess the gods aren't as sad as they were before. I mean, they're still pretty depressed that NVIDIA needs to fix their shit, but still, they're, they're not as sad because we have American Truck Simulator to play in the meantime. Ah, shit, we got a tour bus ahead, and they're going slow as freaking molasses, so we're just gonna overtake them piece of shit get shit on all right so we are 14 miles right down the street from the place where we need to deliver the dynamite to so might as well man it might want to i i uh, i want to make a good turn and there we go it was a bit wide but hey we didn't hit anything so it's all right no one can complain about that and we are basically here which is good because we want to be here we don't want to be away we want to be here and we are actually four miles away, but still, it's, it's right here, it's all right. So we actually have the option of like, parking the shit ourselves, or not, and just skipping it. So if I don't do this good, then I'll just let it go. But this one's actually quite easy. There's like diff level of difficulty that you have to, that you can choose from. And this one's actually quite easy. And, uh, Hey, bitch, this is good enough. All right, there we go. Now, unload the cargo, and let's see our score. Oh, fuck, I'm tolerable, my ass. Let's see how much money we lost. We lost seven grand, so we only made six grand from that, and we lost XP from all our dicking around. But whatever, that is basically all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not already, don't forget to rate, comment, favorite, subscribe. Tell me if you want to see more American Truck Simulator, because I really love this game. And hopefully we can do that. I'll do that because I really like this game. Anyway, guys, that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.